Fall! What they do, what they do. And top of the morning, everybody, top of the morning. It is Tuesday, and it is five o'clock in the morning. Down here in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, I'm feeling a whole lot better today, Kim, folks. Feeling a whole lot better. Um, I'm about to head to the yard, which is down there in Savannah, to my terminal. Drop my box off and pick up another box. And then we're going to head to Gainesville, Georgia. All right. So um, y'all already know the drill. So we're going to find out where we can get a workout at. So probably it's going to be when we get up there because I doubt if I have time to get a little workout on the way up. So probably when we get up there or wherever we shut it down for our 10 hour break, we gonna make it do what it do, Kim folk. All right, y'all ready to go to work? Let's go. All right, Kim folk. So we all know some days are better than others. You know, just gotta keep in mind that um, uh, got seven days in a week. You only need three to four days to get to work out of here. So since we didn't do it, do anything yesterday, we're gonna make sure that we get it in today. Still got a whole week. All right, Kim, folk. So uh, my engine light came on, and I went to smelling coolant. So let's see if I can get up in here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got a hole right here in one of my hoses. See that right there, guys? So uh, I'm about a good. Four to five minutes from the yard, but I'm still maybe still a maybe an hour from um, the truck part. So what I'm gonna try to do is put some water in here and kind of limp there and see if I can get this hose and replace it. Get some, get a hole in some clamps and replace it. Uh, it's gonna slow me down a little bit, unfortunately. You know I had a. 2 p.m. appointment up in um, Gainesville, but um, hey, it is what it is, kid folk. It is what it is. So, about to put some water here, kid folk, and try to limp on down this road, and I'm gonna get with you guys later. All right, kid folk, um, on this little back road back here in a little small town called Oliver, Georgia, and um, this is about good four to five minutes from the yard, but it's about another maybe an hour, hour 15 minutes to the truck park. So what I'm gonna do is, I got some black tape. Now, of course this black tape ain't gonna hold much, but hopefully it'll hold me until I get to the truck park. That way I can replace this whole, something that's better than nothing, you know, obviously when they're engine warms up it's gonna probably leak out again but hopefully it won't leak out that much and hold me till I get to the truck part so we're gonna put a little black tape around it and um I'm gonna also limp to the next gas station because I used the last little bit of water two water gallons of water that I had so we're gonna limp to the next gas station fill up the jugs and then try to get on down the road that can for all right I'm gonna get with you guys later. All right, Kim folk, just want to show y'all this right quick. I know this light is in your face, but just put some black tape on it. So now we're gonna crank the truck up. Now I still need a whole lot more water in it, but I'll use the last little bit I had. As you can see, it's like right there. 
and need to be up, need to be full. So we gotta try to limp and see if um we can make it to the gas station. So first I wanna check to see if it's still leaking or it's gonna hold up. So, as you can see, that black tape ain't gonna hold up long. So, we gotta try to hurry up, get on down the road as far as we can before that uh, black tape bust. All right, Ken folk. So I'm gonna get with y'all a little later. So if you look over here in my passenger seat, I got a bunch of jugs of water over there. That's oil right there. Now my truck is kind of small. I got a mid side cab, but that's my little back of water right there for right now. And that's gonna hopefully hold me down until I get this hole in place. So the engine light, the two engine lights came back on. So we're about a good, maybe 12 minutes from the yard. It's raining, it's wet, it's cold, and it's just one of them days, Kimbo, just one of them days. But that's all right. We gonna be all right. That's part of trucking. One thing about trucks, new or old, they're gonna break down, they're gonna have issues. So what us drivers try to do, especially being that I'm an owner operator, we are trained to keep at least two gallons of uh, water in our truck at all times. Two gallons of water or two gallons of coolant. And also two gallons of oil in your truck at all times because you just never know. It's like right now I'm back here on this back road, you know, no safe haven around. You know, if you have a, uh, a, hole, a hole leak, a coolant leak, you want to be able to at least put something in it until you're able to get to a gas station, truck stop or something, or some some type of safe haven. All right? All right, Ken Fold, let me give it y'all a little bit. All right, Ken Fold. Well, the good news is we don't made it to the yard safe. That's a good thing. Drop this box. And also another good thing too. My terminal has a water faucet, water hose on the outside. So that way I ain't gotta worry about using the ones that I got for right now. And that's the same mindset I want you guys to have. Always try to find a positive yeah, excuse the camera here. But always trying to find a positive in any negative situation. No matter what you're going through, always find something positive about it. Because you know what? It could be a whole lot worse. And I can guarantee you, you can find something positive about that situation. Alright? So I'm about to drop this box, Ken Folk. Uh, put some more water inside my truck and then we're gonna limp on to um, Global Parts in Savannah That's about a good maybe 25 minutes from here All right, Ken folk a few months ago. I was having some radiator problems and guess what? I left these jugs here for another driver now. Here's the hose I was telling that we were gonna use so the good thing is, I can still use these same jugs for my truck. So I just dropped off my paperwork. And guess what, Kenfolk? They still got water in it. 
they still got water in it yes they do so we're gonna top it on off kinfolk and then we're gonna limp on down here to global parks all right kinfolk so we're bob telling now and when i say bob telling all that is just driving the tractor by itself with no trailer no nothing now the good thing about Bob telling us less stress on the truck, less stress on the engine, less stress on the motor. You know, still got that big um, cooling leak, but yeah. So we're about a good 20 minutes away from the park store, and we're gonna go in here and Ken folk. Hopefully they got this part. Nine times out of ten, they do. If not, then there's like three other different. There's about four other parts those around us, so we'll be all right once we make it over there in that area. Yep, we don't made it, Kim. Folk, we don't made it. We done made it. We're gonna find us somewhere safe to park, somewhere out the way. About to walk in and make it do what it do, Kenfo. Alright, Kenfo. So uh I just been scheduled for a random drug test. That's something that they do with us truck drivers. Your name pop up just like a any other job. Hey, you gotta go to the nearest place and drug test. So uh about a good eight, ten minutes away from where I need to go. And uh yeah, let's go ahead and take care of this and go and get it on out the way, Kim folk. See you guys shortly. Alright, Kim folk. So I just made it here. We gotta go to uh, Concentria. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, I tell you, it's cold out here. I don't like that cold, kid folk. I don't like that cold. All right, Kim folk. So it's been a long, exhausting day fooling around with this hole, trying to find this holes, uh, drug testing, and all that other good stuff. And your boy is tired. So I'm about to lay it down, Kim folk. We gonna try it again tomorrow. We gonna try it again tomorrow, Kim folk. We gonna try it again tomorrow. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Jim Minnewell, let's get it.